Forget the numbers if they counted me up. During the first half of this year's rally, locals reveled at the Faria Dakar Lima, a four-day immersive experience on the shores of the Pacific Ocean. The highlight was of course the podium, but there was much more to the feria, with freestyle shows, concerts, films and a chance to meet Dakar heroes. So high grade, put the class and the rap, cop some kicks off sway, on flight to NY so I can rap our sway, daydreaming through the night, staying woke all day. Put a lighter in the sky, put the flashlight down. Take a moment with the time that you have right now. So let's have a look at what happened on the first five stages in the bikes. Sebastian Loeb coming along to see them off. Defending champion Matthias Vorkner took it easy on the short opener, rolling in in seventh place. Ricky Brabeck, 20 seconds quicker than Vorkner as he came in third. A strong start from two-time world champion Pablo Quintanilla, who was just 90 seconds off the pace. The victory in the curtain riser went to Joan Bereda, the 23rd Dakar stage win of his career. I had a good rhythm for the whole stage and got a solid time. On to stage two and Xavier de Sultre losing a bit of time in the dunes. The Frenchman was 20 minutes down after the first two days. While some of the spectators were enjoying the Peruvian sunshine, Ricky Brabeck kept motoring along. Impressive pace as he just missed out on the stage win. That went to the title holder, Volkner, by a margin of just 22 seconds. I'm sure it's good to, to have a stage win, but yeah, it's more long days coming. Well, not so easy for Volkner and Brabeck to open the piste on stage three. Both riders losing around 20 minutes. And disaster for Honda, as Bereda was forced to throw in the towel. The Spaniard getting his bike stuck down a ravine after being caught up in heavy fog. I just couldn't get out. I tried to go lower to find a way out, but that made it even worse. Heartbreak for Bereda then, but elsewhere, stage three threw up some of the standout images of this first week, breathtaking scenes along the Pacific coast. Kevin Benavides showed that it was by no means game over for Honda as he moved up to second overall. While the consistent Quintanilla took hold of the overall lead. The stage victory going to Yamaha's at Sultre, his very first on the Dakar. They've just told me that I won the stage, which is fantastic. I managed to spare the bike, stay sensible, no mistakes. On to part one of the marathon stage on day four with the first fesh fesh of this year's rally. Sam Sunderland getting into a spot of bother, but he recovered to come fifth. All three of KTM's former winners in the top five on the day. Toby Price third in spite of a nasty wrist injury. And Vorkner, who hurt his ankle during the stage, finishing second. Brabeck powering to his second Dakar stage win by over six minutes and snatching the overall lead. It, it kind of helps me because tomorrow I can kind of just uh, hang back and, and uh, have the stage under, under my control. A throwback to Dakars of old at the start of stage five, a spectacular mass start on the beach. Another tricky day of navigation in store and the end of the line for Paolo Gonçalves after a crash. Luckily for the Honda man, there was no major damage done. I think I just need to, to rest a little and uh, I, I'll be okay. Brabeck kept hold of his overall lead heading into the rest day in spite of a minor spill. Top rookie Lorenzo Santolino also took a tumble, but he recovered to claim an excellent fourth place. He's running 11th overall. Walken has slapped with a three minute speeding penalty. That leaves him just over nine minutes off the pace. De Sultre thought he had another stage win, but in the end it went to Sunderland. The Englishman recovering almost 11 minutes after stopping to help Gonçalves. I tried to do the best I can for him, you know, in this situation. The, the race is second, you know. 
jumped extremely tight at the halfway stage, then with Brabeck only 59 seconds ahead of Sunderland, Quintanilla Price and Van Peveren all within six and a half minutes. Benavides and Walkner are also up there, then a bit of a gap to De Sultre, Stefan Zvitko and Andrew Short. Elsewhere, KTM's Laia Sands is on course to finish as the best woman at the Dakar for the ninth consecutive year. While Dutch rookie Mark Tielemans, a former Dakar mechanic, is currently on top in the original by Motul class. In the quads, Jeremias Gonzalez claimed victory on stage three, but otherwise it's all been about one man. Last year's runner-up Nicolas Cavigliasso has won four out of five stages and he's on course for a crushing victory in the class. The Argentine leads his compatriot Gonzalez by 49 and a half minutes in the overall standings. A great first half of Dakar. I trained a lot to be here and I've maintained a very good pace, avoiding any mistakes. Five good stages and now of course I have to rest a little bit before part two of the rally. Well, the Argentines are currently dominating the quads with four of the top five riders. France's Alexandre Giroud is fourth but over two hours off the pace.